Hey guys, Steven here, and this time we'll be taking a look at another room tour, another nerd room tour. This time I'm not going to be calling it a toy collection because if you guys know or haven't know, known, if that makes any sense, um, I sold my 75% uh, of my collection during the summer, so or at, near the end of summer. So if you guys can see, the collection has been nerfed and trimmed down a lot. So if you guys are curious to see what my old collection looks like, I recommend you guys check out my old old videos about it. So I haven't done one since June of uh, of this year. So I'll leave a link in the comments and in the description just for you guys to check it out. But yeah, I've nerfed my <laughs> whole toy collection, as you can see. So pretty much, yeah. And there's not really a lot to go on about, so I'm sure this video will be quick. And I have no regrets selling off my action figures. Again, you know, I'm just going to address it again. I have no regrets. Maybe a couple figures here and there, but for the most part, I think I'm pretty happy with what I got. And you guys can see the difference. The bed is gone. Now I have a futon. So, yeah, I decided to have a futon because... Uh, just for space purposes. So now I have a lot of space to roam around the room compared to when I had a queen sized bed. But yeah, so we'll just, you know, you can see here it's less overwhelming. It's simplistic, it's clean, and I actually like it. I'm a simplistic and boring person. But yeah, so let's just get started right here. Um, as you guys can see here, my cardboard cutout of Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, poison Ivy so as you guys can see here um like I said I got this for a deal usually cardboard cutouts go for forty dollars but I got this one for like twenty something dollars so and I put a Santa hat on it just because I don't know no reason and then you got my Mercedes car keys a back scratcher don't ask and then you have a Venom poster, which I got for free from Free Comic Book Day, and it looks all beat up or messed up and wrinkled and stuff. And you got the Batman Arkham Origins poster. I don't remember where I got this, but yeah. And you got the three Superman Returns action figures in the box, which love the toy line. I love the merchandise for the movie. Not so much the movie itself, but love the merchandise that came with it. And as you guys can see here, um, these are WWE wrestling figures. The reason why I decided to get these and keep these in the box and notice how they're all divas or women wrestlers, I didn't really pay attention when I got them. I'm not even a wrestling guy. It's the reason why I got these is because I actually won this Bailey figure from another YouTuber. So I decided why not just get some more or whoever I see I'll pick up just to decorate my walls. And that's pretty much... Their purpose, really, is just to decorate my walls. And you have a Batman poster from the Batman Legacy toy line, I think. You got the Ninja Turtles poster, which I got for free at a toy show. Um, you got a Marvel Minimates poster. You have the Justice League Action Wonder Woman carded, a Pez Snowman dispenser carded. You got... The Amazing Spider-Man figures from the first movie from Marvel Select. You got this wooden thing I got from my um, drafting teacher or architecture teacher from high school. And you got this little knickknacks of voodoo dolls and whatever that is. Maybe that's an ornament, I believe. So, there's that. A bulletin board, which is full of catalogs, newspaper clippings, uh, gift cards, I guess. And, or rewards cards and um, pretty much trading cards. So, yeah. And you have this, pretty much right here is like this DC section, this desk right here where I read my comics or do my homework if it involves, you know, physical worksheets. You know, we have, we still have teachers and professors who are old school and give you paper to do homework on rather than doing homework online, which I prefer. I prefer doing homework on paper over online, but maybe that's just me. So you have the Jack Specifics figures right here, the big figs, you know, the 20 inch tall ones. And then you have like a 30 inch tall um, Dark Knight Batman. And you have Superman Returns figures right here. 
and then you have a lamp. So, and then down here, I just have my Mafex figures, uh, Mattel Batmobile from Batman v Superman in the back, and then another Mattel Batmobile in the back of the Justice League movie. And then you have Mera and Black Manta, and then uh, from the 12-inch line, and then you have SH Figure Arts, uh, Harley, um, Wonder Woman, and the Harvey Dent coin that came with the Movie Masters figures, but I bought a, a coin stand for it, so there's that, and then there's a charge bank under there, and then you have all my tumblers or glass cups and mugs and all that that I use to drink my soda, coffee, orange juice, alcohol, whatever. <laughs> And then you have some Hot Wheels stuff right there, the Jetsons. You have a Batgirl plush. You have a Pez Spencer Catwoman. And these Justice Robots and J.I. Force, these bootleg knockoff cheap figures that you can get at a gas station or car washes or, you know, or whatever. Um, these are just to put in there in memorial because I grew up with these cheap figures because my parents didn't make a lot of money. And all that, even though we're doing fine now. But back in the day, this is what it was. So, this is kind of like a nostalgia thing, really. But, yeah, I got more posters. Amazing Spider-Man 2. And then my favorite part of the this room, technically, is this comic book shelf. Full of uh, DC figures and Marvel figures. Like, right here. So, yeah, you got like one pop. Red Sonya pop. And the rest of them are... Marvel Legends, and then you got a Human Torch uh, Burger King figure in the corner, but technically all Marvel Legends, and then Funko Rock Candies and Pops, and then Diamond Select statues, and Bus Banks, and Pops, and then you got more Pops, a Multiverse Bat Grapnel, uh, Kona Bakia Wonder Woman statue, and two Wonder Woman Bus Banks. So, yeah. And you got some Player Arts Kai, DC Collectibles, DC Universe stuff, DC Multiverse, Funko Pops, uh, yeah, that the Mystery Minis, whatever, and then the 12-inch uh, Justice League Action Booster Gold figure. So yeah, there you go, right here. And then you have all my comic book boxes right here. So the top are DC, and the bottom is Marvel. But at the same time, there is some Indies um, books, I just... Mix them in with the DC and Marvel stuff. So, there's that. And then, in here, you have my Game Informers. You know, when they used to, when I used to be a member at GameStop. Or whatever. Or the, like, whatever the thing they were doing <laughs> that gives you Game Informers. And then you got the two Jada Toys Batmobile from Batman v Superman and um, Justice League. And then this mini Batman figure came from came with this Batmobile. So... There's that. There's a little cabinet down here. And then you have my Nina Williams stuff. Nina Williams is my favorite character in Tekken. And my favorite video game character of all time. And then you have books right here. Literature. You know, high school stuff. Even college stuff. If you could even say that. But there's that. And then... Up here you have all my anime, Japanese stuff, ranging from TV shows, anime, video games, movies, whatever. So, yeah, you have statues, um, Funko Pops, knickknacks, uh, figure arts, import action figures, Figma, Revel Tech, Gundam model kits. There's that. And then you have my posters, Godzilla. Yeah, the Wolverine poster in the back, and Guardians, and Ninja Turtles. And yeah, my box figures with Soda Street Fighter, and NECA Street Fighter, and Hot Wheels Batmobiles right here. Like, I'm really thinking about getting rid of this Arkham Knight one, because I really don't like that Batmobile. I just got it just to decorate the wall. I, I think I might replace that with the Michael Keaton Batmobile, and then you have all my favorite Batmobiles up there. So, and then you got this Arrow poster, which I got from... Uh, a friend, and I personally don't like this show, but I just put it up there just because. I might get a new poster soon to replace this. And you got Bruce Lee figures, and then you got Wonder Woman figures, and then a Wonder Woman pendant with Green Lantern power rings from the Ryan Reynolds movie. You have my fan right here, my mini fridge, uh, a stool or a step ladder thing. 
uh, my Star Wars figures. There, it's a small collection. It's only ranging from like Force Awakens, Rogue One, and Leia's from Episode Six. So, not much to say right there. And then yeah, my Godzilla stuff, which is all based on the 2014 movie. So the NECA, uh, both NECA figures right here, and then SH Monster Arts and the Bandai uh, gimmick. Godzilla figure so and then you got a fan right there, which is really dusty and dirty and I need to clean that You got a Wonder Woman poster right here And then you have uh, a Two broke girls frame poster and Have you guys seen the new Captain Marvel trailer and the poster? I'm thinking about getting the new Captain Marvel poster because I love the blues and colors and how it makes her pop and I might Replace this poster with um, Captain Marvel and frame it so there's that and then you have these little frames right here that I had for a long time and I just decided to print out some Comic covers or some of my favorite comic covers and just put them on here. So There's that and then there's a table full of controllers glasses uh, fresheners air fresheners or whatever and my earphones and then my futon with the Spider-Man blanket and two pillows and a body pillow and you got my heater right here and then you have pretty much my DVD collection right here like the very top of the TV shows in here everything in here is a mo are movies and then on the bottoms you have blu-ray movies so there is that and you know when you have nothing to watch, even though you have so much things right here, or so many things. And then you got a monster poster up there, for no reason. It just makes me feel relatable to quote-unquote normal people, but it is what it is. Uh, a Bruce Lee minifigure, uh, Azaria Funko Pop, and then more DC posters up here. A framed Tron poster, Batman, G.I. Joe's, and you got my TV full of YouTube videos. Or these are my YouTube videos, so check my channel out if you guys want. A Space Dandy Honey Plush, so the Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man 1 Collector's Edition thing that came with the Blu-ray. Uh, sound bar, alarm clock. And then you got my Hella stuff right here from Thor Ragnarok. And there's a space there because I pre-ordered the Mezco Hella figure. So that should be coming in next year or early next year in 2019. And then in the back, I'm just probably going to put more Blu-rays or I might get into 4K movies. But I don't even have a 4K TV or a player. So yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see. I'm just thinking about just putting more Blu-ray movies right here. And then you have my Blu-ray player, DVD player, a Batman animated series lunchbox. I might put... A Batman action figure right here. A Batman waste basket or a trash can. Or whatever. Then you got my desk for my PS4. My lamp. And pretty much some Marvel stuff right here. Considering that back there I did some DC stuff. Might as well do some Marvel stuff right here. And, and you see the G.I. Joe stuff. G.I. Joe used to be Marvel. So I figured that'd be cool. And then you have my high school diploma. My Hot Wheels and posters and that's it. That's pretty much my room. So yeah. Um, if you guys are curious to see how my old room looks like. It looked bigger but at the same time the space feels smaller. And the with the abundance of figures it looks crammed. It looks overwhelming and it almost looks... Doesn't look clean <laughs> in my opinion. But yeah. So I actually like how this looks. I'm really proud of this. So that's all there is to it. So this is Steven and I'll see you guys next time.